don't think that there's been a lot of surgery in this crowd. Usually, <laughs> but usually you can tell. You know, because the people walk in, I'm here for the comedian. <laughs> but if you do need any plastic surgery, I'm gonna give you a little I'm gonna give you a little hint right here. Two dollars and forty-nine cents. If you need a little lift, what you do is you get some cocktail tomatoes. Okay? I put them in here. And it just gives you a little <laughs> Go to a party, people said, Oh my god, what have you done? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and the men love it because you save money. Because <laughs> God knows, as women, who knew we were going to have this many jobs? You know, like I bought a house years ago with a pool. I don't have to tell you who takes care of everything the pool, the garage, the sidewalks, everything. So this year, I went out and I got me one of those leaf blowers, you know, those like, mm -hmm. You know, and I'm thinking, whoa, this is good. <laughs> For the garage during the day and mommy at night. I love my leaf blower. I take that sucker in the house. Oh, I lift up your feet. <laughs> I actually teach water aerobics at the um, JC's. Do my girls are here? Yay, all right. I teach water aerobics two mornings a week. I work two hours a week. My husband is thrilled. So I'm walking into class one day with one of my Gentile girlfriends. And, um, you know, she's getting out of her car. And I said, oh, you, I love your car. You have a Kia. And she said, oh, I love my Kia. She goes, my husband wanted me to get a BMW. But I said, no, I want a Kia. And I thought, oh, my God, I love you. You're like so unpretentious, you know? So the next morning, I'm walking in with one of my Jewish clients. And, you know, she had a BMW. So I said to her, oh, nice wheels. And I said, do you like your car? She goes, I love it. I love my Beamer. I love it. My husband wanted me to get a Kia. <laughs> and I told him, you can forget it, buddy. I wouldn't be caught dead. How is everybody tonight? Fabulous, fabulous. This is great to be here. Um, I started doing comedy as a hobby, and I had two sons. They were like four and five. They were in grade school. Now they're 22 and 23. I can't believe how fast they have gone from Barney to bongs like that. <laughs> from the Power Rangers to beer pong overnight. <laughs> I wanted boys, you know, because, you know, I'm a, a tall girl, and I went through every ugly stage, and my mom's like, you got to have a little girl. You gotta have a little. I said, Mom, I'd love to. She'd be little, but she's going to be 6'3", with hair on her back and a size 14 shoe. So I'm glad I have boys. I'm really glad. <laughs> you have daughters, huh? Yeah. Are these your kids? The 13 year old? Richard, they're cute. I've got diaphragms older than them. <laughs> they're in the comedy club? Wow. Wow. My kid was in town, and we're discussing when TV went off. My son was shocked. He went, the TV went off? Why? <laughs> you remember that. You get a test pattern, the national anthem would come on. <laughs> what did we have growing up in the 50s and the 60s? Let me refresh your memory. The Wizard of Oz came on TV once a year, Sunday night, black and white, with commercials. Now, when my kids ask me anything, I just yell. They're like, well, did you have cable? Cable, we had three stations, black and white. We got up to change the station. Nintendo, we didn't have Nintendo. Game Boy, I made up my own games with the boys. We played strip poker, doctor. <laughs> Spin the bottle. We used our imaginations. Game Boy, here's your Game Boy, buddy, right here. Here's your Xbox, right here. And don't get so smart, buddy, because let me tell you something. When I was your age, and I ate watermelon, it had seeds. <laughs> and I run into one of my neighbors who's Jewish. She just got back from New York. So uh, we're talking, we're making conversation, and she said she saw Kinky Boots there. I said, oh, Kinky Boots, yeah, I heard some great things. It's coming here, um, Harvey Firestein, music by Cindy Lauper. So, so did you like it? My neighbor goes like this. Oh! <laughs> I knew she liked it. <laughs> like, I think I've heard the best awes, like, while dining. Uncle Selden, did you like the veal? Oh! <laughs> it's like this one restaurant noise review. We don't even have to talk. 
Now there is a battle. It's like, Uncle Al, was that brunch good last week? Ah. Oh. So I just want to differentiate. The good all is like your eyes are rolling back in your head. Ah. Oh. The bad all, you kind of, the head goes down like, oh, like that. But it's a little bit different. James Taylor was in town. Remember when James Taylor was cute, like he had hair? And he didn't have bifocals? He was so gorgeous. So gorgeous. We went to see him one night, and then we all said, let's go to the airport and see if we can get his autograph. And so we did. So we're at the airport, and he's like walking toward us. And I'm like totally starstruck, OK? And everybody's got their paper and pencil, all right? And um, he's like walking towards me, and I can't even talk. And they're all getting his autograph. And he's kind of snickering, because I'm like. <laughs> and he said to me, um, well, did you enjoy the concert? And I went. Oh! Oh, sweet baby James! They just go crazy for weddings. They are, they're, they're absolutely nuts. And bar mitzvahs and wedding. And when they walk into a wedding, they're like, the, like a calculator. They're walking in. They take an appetizer. They're looking around. What did they spend? What didn't they spend? They're looking everything over. And then they sit down at the table, and the whole table is discussing the price of the wedding. You know, well, I heard Marsha pay two fifty a person. Then somebody's counting the tables. Well, let's see. There's ten to a table. There's 30, that's three hundred. That's seventy five thousand dollars there. And the band, Sheila had the band at her wedding five years ago. They were fifteen thousand. So you know they're twenty thousand. And they got the flowers, and then they got the chairs are covered, and the dress, which I didn't care for. <laughs> and they, the whole table's in on it. They figure out the whole price of the wedding, and kerplunk, the salad is served, and everybody basically knows, you know what, I'd say like 250, 250 on the low end. Yeah, and the funny thing is, is that every table is doing the same thing. And they're all within a couple thousand dollars of the wedding. And I am so sick of hearing about what people eat and what they don't eat. I could vomit. I eat nothing partially hydrogenated, no high fructose corn syrup, nothing white, nothing processed, no red meat. Everything that we eat is totally organic. It's got to be range free, uh, grass fed, gluten free. Uh, last night, we went to dinner and we split the lettuce wraps. But we practically just ate the lettuce. What are, who are these vegans? Who are they? I mean, I have never met a healthy vegan in my life. They look like they need a blood transfusion. Please eat some cottage cheese. Do yourself a, eat some protein. What is a vegan? It sounds like something that you dress up for for Halloween. I'm going as a vegan this year. OK, good. Don't wear any leather, OK? What is going on with America? My god. We've never had more information on how to lose weight, and we keep getting bigger as a nation. And every magazine has a how to lose weight article, the women's magazines. I saw one, you don't have to diet, just have six to eight servings of fruits and vegetables a day. <laughs> my question is, who wants them? I have never in my life eaten an apple and gone, God, I gotta have another one of those. Never. I have consumed a bag of Doritos, a big bag, and gone, I could do another half a bag. <laughs> Everybody's going to ask me where my husband is. And he um, did used to come to my comedy shows in the beginning. He supports me. Believe me, he's, he's actually got to work tomorrow. And like my grandmother would say about the men in the family, he should just stay well and make a living. So um, <laughs> the Angelina Jolie, she was on the cover of National Enquirer. Uh, this was a couple years ago. I love it. That's like my guilty pleasure. I love that magazine because all the stars look horrible. You know, they show them all. I love it. But she was on the cover, and she had the mom face. I don't know if any of you ever did this with your kids or your grandkids when you go like this. <laughs> she was like that, and they made a story like she was abusing her kids. I didn't think she was abusing her kids because I had two boys 17 months apart, and I made that face all the time. That's the last thing you want to do is yell in public, but there's a lot of yelling going on at home. But when you get out, you start that. <laughs> 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 absolutely nothing. I used to call it the glare stare, but now I call it the Angelina Jolene face. It's the only time I'll ever be able to compare my face with hers. <laughs> it's not that funny.